Today we're going to be giving you guys some quarterback sneak defense. We're going to be coming out here in the 3-4 bear. Play we're going to be looking at is pinch dog 3. You can also go into cover 3, but we'll, we'll touch on that once we get into there. So let's go to the goal line, quarterback sneak. And it's going to be a little bit tough out of practice mode here, obviously, because it doesn't just tell you that... Uh, <laughs> it doesn't just tell you that they scored a touchdown, but we'll move the ball to the 2. So it kind of gives you an idea of what's going on. So pretty much what I like to do uh, for this setup here... Of course, our zones are just going crazy here. But I set up here, I uh, base a line, and then you see you have these three guys. Uh, they're in a bare front. You're going to pinch them, which is going to pull them forward. There are there In this play, they're obviously already crashed to the middle. So that's going to stop your uh, quarterback sneak. And I like to call this pinch dog play because I you can uh, quarterback contain your edge two guys, and they're already in a good spot here if they would roll out or like they could have escape artist. Not that uh, your quarterback contains work every single play, but uh, it, it's better to have them than not. So, kind of gives you a little bit of, of a defense against everything. And you see Dak did not get in. Um, he didn't even pick up a yard. So let's actually move the ball up to like the one here. So we'll just move it up to, like as close as if Dak's head would get out of the way. All right, so let's move it up to like the one here. And we'll just show you, because it does show you the stats here when you pause, right? Zero touchdowns, zero yards. So we'll set that up uh, one more time. Base a line, pinch your D line. I mean, if it, and if you're in a different play, you can do this really out of any play in the 3-4 bear, obviously. So if you're in a different play where your D line, your three defensive linemen right here, Williams, Campbell, Wolf, aren't crashed down. You just want to crash them down. And then you can kind of do what you want with these two guys. I mean, if you want to, like, like we did before, obviously quarterback contain them. But uh, there, of course, you get to stop. And we'll show you that. Right, zero touchdown, zero yards for Dak. So it's a good setup. It's a really good play here. You have a good. I wish the zones wouldn't do that and be. But the but the main guys are these front guys up here, right? These five these five guys up here. And then I like the user. Of this he's a free safety here, Clark. And you can kind of fill in. I mean, you can see where the gaps are, right? You can see there's no one over here. And you can see there's kind of a gap here. So like if they would run anything but a quarterback sneak, you obviously are kind of the guy to try and make that play. And it does put you in a tough spot, obviously, because. I mean that's a huge that's a huge area to cover, right? But but it, I mean that's your that's your giving up, right? You can't stop everything on every single play. But as far as a quarterback sneak goes, I mean this defense he might have got in the end zone right there actually, and yeah he actually didn't even get in there. So I mean it's pretty good. This this has been a solid setup for me pretty much most of the year when trying to stop the quarterback sneak. And yeah, I mean, it works. I don't even know. I, I don't want to say 100% of the time, but probably, I mean, 90% of the time, you're gonna get, you're gonna get a pretty good, pretty good animation on that. So, very nice play, pinch dog three. We'll run it one more time into this, and I just want to show you out of the cover three as well that it does work. So Dak would snap the ball, and you get the stop. Just because even if your guy, even if he doesn't uh, make the tackle, like you see right there before we get into cover three, even if he doesn't make the tackle, he gets in the way enough to. Just stop him from getting into the end zone, right? Like his knee's down right there. If I can get a good angle, right? Knee goes down there, short of the goal line. So your guy just gets in his way, even if he doesn't actually make the tackle. So we'll switch to cover three just real quick. The coverage behind doesn't really matter, but just want to show you that you can do this out of any other play. Here are these edge guys, uh, Bowser and maybe that's oh, uh, Houston over there, Justin Houston, uh, are in zones, obviously, this time. So they are not in contains, they are not in blitzing. But we still want to show you that you can stop the quarterback sneak out of cover three, really any other play right there. He actually does get the tackle animation, and you stop him short of the goal line. Really good setup. I see a lot of people using this. Maybe not a lot of people, but there is a lot of people using this here out of the 3-4 bear. It's a really nice setup, and it's it's pretty close to 100%, man, in terms of stopping your, your uh, quarterback sneak, as you see right there. Really good setup, really good play. And I mean, I know it's late in the year, but if you're struggling with the quarterback sneak defense, there you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, all the good stuff to the channel. You know what to do. You you watch YouTube. You watch YouTube videos before, right? And uh, yeah, hope to see you in the next one. Later.